For Nuke 13.2, we've continued the work that we started in 13.0 and further updated the monitor out functionality. First, we've added an exciting new feature to the viewer monitor out with the introduction of support for NDI in the Nuke family. NDI is a network protocol that enables video to be sent over standard IP networks in real time. This will enable users to share and very easily stream their viewer content to anyone else on the network, allowing for quicker collaboration and feedback. To view the NDI stream created, you will need to use the NDI monitor, which can be downloaded for free from NDI. Here you can see Nuke Studio playing back a sequence with the output streamed to the NDI monitor. In Nuke's Node Graph, we now have multi-monitor out and have integrated the monitor out with the viewer. All of the features of the monitor out remain the same, but controls are now presented as a tab in the viewer instead of a separate properties panel. This now means that each viewer in Nuke can have its own independent monitor out. In this demo, we are using five viewers. The main viewer is feeding an NDI stream, or this could be an output to an Arjo or Blackmagic video device. The image is then split into four quadrants and a viewer is attached to each. We're using the floating window to emulate four streams to four projectors. So we have five simultaneous outputs from Nuke, allowing you to easily display and compare multiple shots or versions across a setup of your choosing. The monitor out strip found under the player controls can now control each independent monitor out quickly and easily with a new drop down menu. Here we are illustrating the independent output transform that can be applied to any device in the monitor out. We have also updated the output controls for Arja and Blackmagic video devices. A new knob has been added, SDI mapping. This allows users to see what mapping type and how many links the card is using to send the video over. For HD, single or dual link options are available, whilst for Ultra HD the card may be using single, dual or quad link depending on the card type. With these ongoing updates to monitor out, we are continuing to provide greater workflow efficiencies, making review sessions more productive and ensuring that everyone in the team is always on the same page.